Welcome to Sleepy Eyes. I am your host, Varga. I take you on a journey in the dark of the night with warm tales. Take a moment to relax your body and mind with the current calmness. Breathe deeply, feel the energy inside, and let go of any tiredness. Put aside the past and focus on the peacefulness of the present moment. Recognize any tension in your body. Allow it to fade away and unwind. Discover your inner peace and simply unwind in the tranquility of now. Before going to sleep, prepare to read a story comfortably in this peaceful setting. Let the magic of words captivate you as you get lost in a tale or story. With the warmth from this peace and relaxation, your sleep will become even more serene. Close your eyes, embark on a journey with a touch of words. Let each word guide you a bit deeper toward the essence of your inner peace. Now, relax and enjoy the pleasure of getting lost in the enchanting world of the story before drifting into sleep. Exodus to Infinity by Sleepy Eyes The silence and darkness of space can be a deafening and blinding void. That was the first lesson that Dr. Maya Patel learned when she left Earth. Seated in her captain's chair aboard the Exohab, she gazed out of the wide observation windows, the pale blue speck that was Earth slowly fading away. Captain Patel, a voice broke through the emptiness. Professor Emily Carter peered at her from wiry spectacles, her green eyes lit by the holographic console in front of her. The exoplanet report, please, Maya requested, holding out a hand without looking away from the window. Professor Carter extended a thin holographic clipboard. Maya took it, her eyes scanning the virtual parchment with furrowed brows. What do you think, Emily? Maya asked peering at the geographer. Emily never seemed to be unsettled, her calm demeanor a rock amidst the eternal ocean of stars. Promising, certainly, Emily replied. The planet's climatic conditions are enduringly stable, optimal for human habitation. Just then, Dr. Elena Chang, the ship's petite and dynamic medic, entered from the medical bay. She walked with purpose, her streamlined white medical suit subtly standing out against her dark Asian features. Her brow was furrowed, her lips pursed in thought. Maya, Elena started, turning to her friend and captain. We need to discuss our crew's health. There's something unusual. Maya moved from the window to the central table, putting the fading earth behind, her face solemn. As the details of Dr. Elena's unusual findings poured in, her trained mind hunted for solutions, her resolve steady but the worry clearly visible in her eyes. Time passed in a sleepless blur, the distant exoplanet propitious drew nearer, and as they weaved through unseen cosmic storms and pulsars, the troubling medical revelations became a gnawing problem. The crew's bone density was declining at an alarming rate. Despite the artificial gravity, their bodies were rebelling, breaking down under the unwanted conditions. Maya, Emily, and Elena spent countless hours analyzing, debating, and experimenting. Through persistence and shared strength, they developed a medication regimen combined with a strict physical regime which helped stave off the effects bringing a fresh wave of relief to the worried crew. However, the relentless void of space was far from done with them. A solar storm of the kind unseen nor anticipated in their journey struck them unexpectedly, damaging the artificial gravity system, the frail anchor stopping their bodies from truly experiencing space's full impact. The world around them turned upside down as the ship spun out of control. Shrieking alarms resonated through the ship. Amidst the chaos, Maya stood still, a beacon of resilience burning strong, her dark eyes steady. Everybody remain calm, Maya shouted, 
her voice echoing through the intercom. We've trained for this. Emily, get the resilience systems back online. Elena, attend to our crew. Ensure everyone's safe. The struggle to restore normalcy took days. Their resilience was tested. Their faith in their mission pushed to the brink, and yet they surfaced, battered but unbroken. They eventually arrived at Propitius. The crew disembarked, stepping out into the alien world, their bodies aching in the unfamiliar gravity but their spirits soaring. They had arrived, leaving their home behind to create a new one. Maya stood by Emily and Elena, looking on as their fellow shipmates took their first steps on their new home. The trials behind them were harsh, but they allowed themselves a brief moment of triumph they had overcome. Welcome home, whispered Maya, a tiny tear escaping her eyelash, sparkling brightly in the foreign sun before it slowly tricked down her face.